Okay, so welcome everyone, uh, master your emotion and find your truth. So the podcast is number eight today, that's an infinitive number, that's a beautiful number. So today I'm having Natalia, did I pronounce very well your name, Natalia? Yes, Natalia. Oh, yes. Good, okay, so she's a vocal and mindset coach, I would like to say holistic vocal mindset coach, and also she's uh, helping the artist and singer find their own voice. So as you know, I'm talking to the audience. So as you know, my podcast is around the truth, finding your truth. Doesn't matter, it could be a truth around the voice, but anyway, that's definitely around the voice because everything is around the energy and mastering your emotions as well. Yeah, so I'm so happy to having you to, sorry, you in my podcast today because we've got a lot of to talk about the, having the inner voice and also having the own voice and finding the truth. Wow. Cool. It's a big topic. Thank you, Gabrielle. I'm so excited to be here. It is. It is. And I would like to say that's a vast topic, but we need to squeeze in the 30, 40 minutes. So <laughs> we're going to do the best as we can. Yes. So maybe we're going to record it more later on. I don't know what's coming, but we just only will be channeling information and also we will be just guiding through our spirit guides. So everyone who is listening, just sit down, take a tea, coffee, and yeah, let's go listen. And absorb that energy from us, yes. especially from Natalia. She's got a lot of talk to talk. <laughs> Welcome, Natalia. Would you mind just only say a little bit about yourself and introduce the rest of the souls who are listening to us? So hi, everyone. My name is Natalia. And as Gabriella mentioned, I'm a vocal and mindset coach. I help people to bring the singers in them. But not only that, it's really about changing their life along the way, along the way, because our voice is connected to our body, connected to our mindset, connected to our emotional being. And by mastering that through your voice, you pretty much can change any aspect in your life. I'm also a certified life and success coach and hypnotherapist. So I help not only singers, but creatives to find their path and a way to make actually living out of it and something make something significant for themselves i was born in belarus raised in israel i actually came here after i served in military service for two years in israel oh wow i've got a good sponsor yeah and to pursue to become an opera singer that was kind of like my goal i always been on stage since i was a little girl in school and after school program choirs anything and one time my choir teacher told me, you should you should go pursue like opera singer. This is this is should be something you should definitely look into. And at first, you know, I thought, oh, my God, I don't want to be that, you know, the third lady with the horns. And and, and it, I had such a kind of stigma what opera is. But the more I actually pursue it, the more I realize how beautiful an art it is and how sincere and authentic it is. If you want to make it sincere and authentic. And that kind of led me to New York. And I can tell you so much, but I'm just going to tell you that after pursuing my undergrad and doing a lot of roles and performing around the world, I literally lost my voice physically. Oh. Um, and it was every single week I would lose my voice and specifically before a lesson or before an important gig or important performance. And there was a pattern there that um, I just didn't understand what's going on. And what happened is there was multiple things, you know, I felt as an opera singer coming to a very prestige vocal uh, coach. Uh, she wanted me to sound a certain way and squeeze me into a certain box. Specifically, if you're an opera singer and you're listening, you know what I'm talking about. You have to know what a fuck you are, meaning what type of voice you are. You could be a lyric soprano, it can be called a tour soprano. There's different, mm -hmm. different kinds of voices. And that also dictates what kind of roles can you sing. And it's very, I felt always kind of squeezed into a box and squeezed into something like I'm not. And literally, I felt like my voice is shrinking and shrinking and until I actually lost it. And that was the hardest thing because imagine my voice was everything. I was a teacher, a music teacher. I was teaching voice and I was performing and I couldn't do none of that. And I just felt like my voice betrayed me. I felt that I just don't have anything to offer. And I moved all the way from Israel to come here to pursue this. And I'm failing. 
And that was actually the biggest gift because it invited me to go deeper, to really understand and create my method, which as I said, the mindset and vocal connection are so, so important. And since that day, I help hundreds of singers around the world to find their authentic voice and, you know, really fulfill the potential vocally and in whatever aspect they want. Wow, that's an amazing story. You came <laughs> all the way and now you're in the New York. That's a big, 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 big journey for you. Yeah. And also, you just when you came, probably that's like you just when you mentioned, you just when you found that pattern in your life, just before every session or before every teaching lesson, you've been losing your voice and you couldn't yeah. speak. So, what is that kind of the pattern? If you, somebody's listening to you, because some of uh, some of the audience are really awake souls and they just only slightly know what is going on around the pattern. So, how did you find that pattern? How, how, you, how you know that's the pattern in your life? I think back then I didn't know I wasn't as awake. I was a little girl that trying to please, that trying to prove herself, to try to push something. And I wasn't really trusting my voice. I wasn't trusting that I am enough, that I don't need to become a certain way to be valid as a singer or be valid as somebody. You know, I always felt like I'm not worthy enough. And that of almost abusing my voice and pushing my voice all the time, it just led me to lose my voice. And it brought me into, okay, going to Alexander Technique coaching. And then I went to Tony Robbins. And then I went to different like meditation yeah. seminars. And I went to all these things that slowly but surely opened up a whole world for me. And, you know, also back then I had a really bad breakup that I had to leave the house, I had a dog and I had to move out. And, you know, it, it, it just everything collapsed around me. And that's where, you know, when you crack open, that's when the light shines through. And that's what truly happened to me. And that's where I understand, okay, that has nothing to do with my physical voice. Resting my voice, drinking lots of tea is nice. But that's not really the core of the, of, of the, the problem, right? So I really had to dig in and work on myself and work on loving myself, healing my voice, listening to my intuition, developing this and also finding how can I do it for others? Because it's one thing to do it for yourself, but then how you actually make it as a method that everybody can do for themselves. Wow, that's amazing. So how did you start listening to yourself? Because we just only saying, oh, can you listen to yourself? You, can, you have to listen to yourself and then you can find your own truth or, or your own voice. But if someone doesn't know how to find it, that own truth and how to find it, that own voice, so what you can recommend? And do you have any tips or any small, tiny, tiny baby step they can do on a daily basis, of course? You know, we have multiple voices in our heads, right? We have, since we're little girls and boys, we're listening to our parents. A lot of the things that we're hearing in our head is something that we acquire from the external uh, environment, right? Yeah. And it's almost impossible in the beginning to really differentiate what is really my decision, what I want, what I feel, what I, you know, really connect to that versus, okay, I just adapted somebody else's opinion and make it my own truth. And as you know, our belief system is so powerful. It dictates yeah. everything in our lives. So for me to start finding your own voice, start meditating. And it's not one, two, three step. And there's no one way to do it. And there's multiple meditations. At the beginning, I was terrified to sit by, by myself for five minutes and be silent. Because for me, that was a waste of time. I was always so productive. I was always go, 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 go. I was multiple passionate with a bunch of, you know, doing so many different things in one time. And I always kind of push myself and push and push and the hustle thing. And for me to really sit down and, and meditate was almost like unheard of. But after three, four years of being consistent, and again, guys, you were living in this earth for how many years, doesn't matter. It will take time to transition and to relearn yourself like, a, like any relationship. And you're always changing as well. So taking the time, being patient with yourself, sitting down in the quiet, listening to your heart, not your mind, 
about your heart and how you know how your heart feels. It's how you feel and yeah. trust those feelings and, and see, and, and truly it, there's no one way. There's no like one, two, three step. Everybody has their own way, but I can tell just by tuning in every single day and just asking the question, how do I feel today? Yeah. Like, how do I feel and go yeah. from there? Yeah, that's amazing. Yes, that's how you can feel, and you can put your palm on your heart, sorry, on your heart, and you can just only feel it as a beating, that's a, that's a pulsation from the heart. That's definitely what you can do. Uh, but also, you just when you mentioned you've been go 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 on that process, you'll be always in the rush. So also from my perspective, from my point of view, of course, just only saying, I don't know if you agree or not. But when we just only constantly in the rushing, we are hiding, we are hiding something, we are suppressing our emotions. We don't want to allow this voice come out. How is that? It's more like? than that. I think we've been yeah. taught, especially if you're in New York. Wow. This is like the capital of hustle, right? Everybody is so productive. Everybody's so, you know, rushing and, and there's no like walking comfortably and enjoying yeah. and being, you know, in the moment. There's not such such a thing. Like you'll be pushed over. <laughs> and you and need to watch out. Where are you going? Yes, it's like that's why a lot of New Yorkers don't like tourists because tourists are very ah. Oh, let me look at this and take pictures and um. But honestly, it's 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 so many different things that led me to feel that my action actually connected to my worth. That's how I saw it, and I think a lot of people are being grown up into that mindset of okay, what I did, what I accomplished, the external things are who I am. And who you are, it's not what you do. It's not what you have on the wall. It's not how much money you have in the bank. You are infinite, infinite potential. And as you say, when you're connecting to your heart and you feel that pulse, you understand, wow, okay, I have a pulse. I have something in me that is living and breathing without me controlling it. There is something that I don't need to control all the time. And I can just be and trust and go from there. Yeah, that's true. That's completely true about, yeah, when you start controlling all the time, everything, everything, the ego and all the stuff, you need in the you need in the flow state. You need to be in the flow state. So when you're pushing that sound, mm -mm, just come back on the track. You need to think, you need to just only go, like you said, Natalia, go on meditation, just go for the walk and do something. I mean, just in the in that, that, that movement in your body, you can sing. That's a matter should supposed to be a meditation sitting still, isn't it? If you it? do it right, it's supposed to be a meditated state. But a lot of people are not singing from that place. They're singing to impress. They're singing to show off. They're yeah. singing. You see what I'm saying? And that's yeah. where I, I bring those singers into that. Okay. Forget about all the people around you, what they're going to think, because you have zero control of how people perceive you. It really, it's impossible. Yeah. But you have an experience, first of all, as a singer, it's a very powerful frequency, your voice, right? Your voice is the highest, it's like a superpower. You can singers, influence, right? you can influence, you can heal, you can penetrate people's heart and, and vibration through your voice. Do you understand how powerful it is? And you also have a specific individual mark of how, what your voice is so unique. Like nobody would have the same uh print of what your sound is like so when you can tap into that with no apologies and be a full like almost like a conduit to something there that moves through you and just be that channeler and it just feels like flying it's not only good for you and you feel good it's also good for everybody listening to you yes definitely but sometimes if we're saying no i can't sing i can't sing especially for me i'm just i was singing this morning uh when i was taking my shower I said, oh gosh i'm singing i'm singing i'm just only doing the, the opera that's a kind of a high and low i was completely out of the tune but i was singing for myself so we don't have to be shamed isn't it we have to that's our own so i would like to say our own voice healing us is that correct Absolutely. And you know what's interesting? We've all been singers when we were little kids. In kindergarten, I'm sure, we all sang. Nobody was like, oh, I'm not a singer. Oh, I'm not a singer. Because again, we have a perception what singing should sound like. Because we see Beyonce, we see like Shakira, we see all these superstars, right? And their voice and we're thinking to ourselves, I'm not yeah. like close to that. 
And then we take away from ourselves that even an option to tap into it just because we're not good already. And I always say, everybody can sing. That's one of my mantras. And I truly believe it because if you can speak, you can sing. You have a voice. Now, the question is, do you want to sing? Not everybody has the desire to sing and express themselves through their voice. But okay. if you do and you now allowing yourself to pursue it because you think you're not good enough or it's it's not practical or all these BS stories we tell ourselves, you not only preventing from your own soul and your own purpose to be actually um, actually merged in this lifetime, you also avoiding all these people that meant to hear your voice and heal through your voice or get something from your voice or get a certain message from your voice, not heard. That's a big, big, big thing. Yeah, that's definitely like that. Because sometimes like when you said, when you're going to start singing, you're healing yourself and you're healing others and much more gratitude is coming. And then you can going to find your own truth about yourself, who you truly are. I'm designed, I've got a desire for the singing or maybe I've got a desire for something else. I don't know how you can perceive that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Oh my goodness. I'm going to sing more. I don't know how my daughter will be just only saying, don't go. But actually my okay. daughter took this month. It's not I, for her. It's for you. <laughs> yeah, I know. But she said today to me, mommy, I I heard you when you sang in the, in the bathroom. That was amazing. I said, Thank wow. you. What I was thinking. It was a joke or not? But I said, I, I, I took as a compliment that was amazing i felt great fantastic okay so finding the own truth and of course the the voice the voice so how you can see deeply is any meaning behind that having your own voice i mean the voice as a singer and the voice as well as a human form as a soul on the planet earth nowadays i think that's a much more deeper question right so what what is exactly the question how to find their own voice yeah, how how you can how did you find your own voice? Okay. How did I find my own voice? Again, it's a journey, right? And I I'm still finding my own voice, and because again, we're changing all the time. We are. It's almost like saying, "Oh, you found your voice, or you find your spiritual kind of like you got awakened. That's mm -hmm. it. The path is done. No, it just begun, <laughs> and you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that day when you felt that you're part of something bigger and you felt like you are not alone and you connected. That's just the beginning. That's just, you are finally awaking from the matrix and that perception and the ego centered life where we all living. And like, we have a false identification of who we think we are. And it's a whole journey to figure who we are. And honestly, we're not maybe meant to find who we are. Because again, it's always going back to that. We always want to put a tag on who we are. We want to find, find the like identity. What if we don't? Need to find it? Exactly. What if we're not going to pursue labeling and who I am and just enjoy the moment and just feel that sincere of trust in yourself in the universe and whatever meant to meant come through you, come through you and just live and ride this life. And the purpose, the people, what you're meant to do, the money, the relationship will reveal itself. You don't have to identify yourself. Because again, it's almost going back to the matrix. That's a lot of spiritual people don't understand that yeah. you, you don't need to find who you are or your purpose in life. Those are questions that are just going to reveal itself by actually living and living this journey called life. Yeah, that's completely true. So what I found is definitely to be uh, authentic and just only be really truly who you are, definitely, before you came here on the planet Earth. So I'm not saying that all the programming and the condition you've been, but only be authentic, be authentic. If you'd like to scream, scream. Of course, I'm not saying the scream or <laughs> the people. It's somebody else. Yeah, that's yeah. not definitely like that. But if you are feeling like I need to scream because something is inside you, just only go in the safe sp space and just do it. So that's you straight know, away. I have so many clients that, you know, they come from to me after doing spiritual journeys or, you know, mm -hmm. they, they are spiritual people, right? And yeah. there's kind of like common understanding that in the spiritual world you always need to be in high vibe high frequency oh. 
And this is the most toxic thing that I ever heard. And this is why people always feel they're failing and they're always beating themselves down and they're judging themselves. Well, I'm spiritual person. I'm awake. I know that I need to be high vibe. If I'm not high vibe, I'm not attracting the relationship I want or the money that I want or the career I want and blah, blah, blah. But the truth of the matter is your soul and my soul, Gabriella, chose to be in this planet Earth. That's for true. A reason. Because if we always wanted to be in the high vibe, we would not be in this planet Earth. Yeah. We're meant to feel all these wide range of emotions. There is beauty in feeling sad. There is beauty in feeling stressful. There is beauty in feeling worried. It's all part of the human experience. And the more people understand that and not beating themselves down or feeling shit, it's, par- it's, it's actually part of being a human. And by feeling those not comfortable emotions, and seeing what you don't want, you actually reveals what you do want. And it's part of the progress and it's part of it. But us labeling it as a bad and good, that is the problem. Because That's if true. we treat, like, let's say, feeling bad or not liking something, let's treat, like just detach yourself emotionally from it and just look at it and say, wow, this is an opportunity for me to go deeper and see actually what I do want. Because by that experience, I, I would never understand what I do want. Because there is polarity that we're living in the pool. We have, this is, this is a law actually, right? We have yeah. black, white, we have all these things that contrast to bounce from each other to really go even deeper and, and understand what we do want by living through them. So whoever is listening and feeling like he's still worried and is still stressed as an enlightened yeah. and spiritual person, Yes, welcome to the human experience, but give yourself so much compassion. Allow yourself to feel the feeling as much as you need. Sometimes it takes days and it's fine, but by allowing it and not feeling that, like, again, that feeling like you're pushing it off, just release it and just move through you. You will see it will just dissolve. And then a new feeling can come actually from that. But we're holding so much, so much shame, so much anger, so much of that and not allowing it to move through us because emotions come and go. And and so the good and so, quote unquote, the bad. Yeah. It's all part of it. Yeah. So when you said that's the allowing and just when you release it, so the one way, one way. So the thought just came to me. Like when you're releasing something, that's, that, that's you. That's who you truly are. Definitely. And you're allowing to your own truth coming, your own voice is coming because you're making a space. But when you're constantly fighting, 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 fighting and not allowing that emotion go, like you said, Natalia, go through you and you release. The resistance, you'll be fighting. You'll be the, fighting. Cold. Exactly. The resistance is what kills you. The resistance is what the problem is, not the feelings. It's the resistance to the feelings. Okay, so how we can stop that? How we can stop? How we can release? Because that's not- forgiveness. Forgiveness. I think we need to forgive ourselves every single day, and I do it with myself every day. I forgive myself for beating myself down. Forgive myself for feeling the f- feeling or jealousy or things that I would think that I am already past that and I should be somewhere completely else. No, that's that's just part of my life, and this is part of my soul's expansion. And I'm allowed to feel all those feelings. But the question is, do I want to hold on to it? And this is a choice. So number one, forgiveness. Second of all, you have the most powerful thing in this world, which is God will never take away from you the power of choice. You can always choose what you want to feel, who you want to be, what do you want to do? Even if there is a, um, you know, a path already of destiny that has been lied to you, but you still have choices. Even on a soul level, we choose who our kids going to be, who we're going to marry we, before coming to this planet Earth. So choice is such a big thing that people forget that they can take their power back and ask yourself, wait. Do I really want to feel this way? How much do I want to like feel in the shame, feel the victimness, feel that all these feelings that don't allow me to really enjoy life? Because that's what we're here for, basically, guys. We're not supposed to take it so seriously, by the way. No. It's meant to be fun. Yes, not every day is fun, but take it easy. Take it lightly. 
don't take it so seriously. <laughs> no, no. But sometimes it's really hard to not taking seriously the life because well, like we have been conditioned. We've been just on a program. And so we we just need stuck. I would like to say it's not a stuckness. Uh, how we can say we're still living in our perception. We're still living in our minds. We're not allowing go to the heart and just only feeling for. So that's mm-hmm. why my podcast is that master your emotion and find your own truth. Because when you, yeah. from my perspective, when you're going to find your, uh, master your emotions and finding your own truth, ta-da, you can go straight away. You can do and anything yeah. you want. I love this. Absolutely. Absolutely. So how we can, how we can master our emotions? Because I know when you find your voice and mustering the emotion, like you said, the forgiveness, how we can forgive? Because some people just only when they're listening, are saying, no, I don't want to forgive you. that person, that person, that person. She did that. He did that. And never, ever, I'm not going to forgive them at the end of my days. Yeah. And they're still living in that. That's the ego. Cycle. And I think that's the cycle. And the question that I always ask, how badly do you want to feel good? How badly do you want to live a life that is free truly free not because something happened because you forgave and you let go and you don't need to feel like you need to punish them by feeling a certain frequency towards that person or anger Mm -hmm. and to let go of that it's almost letting it's almost letting if people it's not really about the person it's also letting go of their perception of themselves it's almost like an ego death and it's yeah. very, very terrifying for people because almost like saying to themselves, like, who am I without me being angry at this person? Like, I don't know who I am anymore. That, that was literally people like go to work to prove something to somebody or go on stage or go to do something big because I want to I wanna prove that person that I am going to be big or I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. But why why would not just do it because you want to do it and you it's not about proving it because you want to express something and you want to enjoy life and it's really a a question you need to ask yourself how badly do you want you want to feel good and feeling good it's your choice so by letting go of this resentment and trust me I've been through so much as well and I've been through my healing journey and actually with my ex too but I had to come to him and ask for forgiveness after he did something really bad to me. And that was the hardest thing I ever did, but the best thing I ever did, because why now I'm living the most amazing relationship I could ever wish on anybody on this planet earth and have an amazing family. And yeah. most of all, I'm free. Nobody holds their power over me. Yeah. I hold the power for myself. And so you've got the voice. That, exactly exactly yeah. that's amazing beautifully yeah <laughs> what you've been talking something came to me but now i just only lost it oh, did i lost it you never lost it no it's, just, it's something it's something <laughs> All right. i know yeah thank you thank you so much uh so you mentioned something about forgiveness definitely there's a powerful powerful i would like to say spiritual tool I'm yeah. always just saying to the uh, people who are listening, the souls who are listening, you need to have a just tiny box, spiritual tools. So you need to take it out, this, or maybe this, if you need it, if you need it, if you need it. But you need to accumulate during your lifetime, not during your lifetime, past lifetimes as well, if you believe in that past lifetimes. Okay, because well. some people don't believe it. I don't know. But yeah, so mm-hmm. I would like to say people judging them, the people that they want to forgive others, but they didn't know they don't want to forgive truly truly for themselves because yes. they make it the worst not for others they can cope with that because that will be their own time to for forgiveness but they don't want to forgive themselves that's what i'm if pointing you know, to myself i don't want to forgive myself so yeah you know there some people you know even if it's bad feeling like a victim it still feels good for them you see what i'm saying yes for me, some, yeah. it's a very comfortable place because you almost like you're not taking your power and you're almost in that place of like, who did this to me? Or they're getting some kind of attention. Some people get sick, like chronically sick. I know. Yeah. Right. To, because the, they have some kind of gain out of it. 
not okay. even subconsciously, uh, uh, consciously, subconsciously, yeah. because they know since they were a little boy and girl, they're getting all this attention and they can, you know, they're not being, you know, rushed to do something or, you know, pushed to do something. And, and it's almost like, oh, they figure out a, a, a thing for themselves. So you really have to ask yourself the question, what I'm gaining by hating that person, by holding this grudge towards that person, what I'm gaining and asking yourself, is that truly something that I want for myself for the rest of my life? Can I choose better? Can I be better? And, and take again the power back and ask yourself that and choose again. It, it's yeah. really that simple. And to be honest with you, it doesn't matter if you believe in past life or don't believe in past life. The time is now. Anyway. So it yeah. doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, that's completely true. But another idea came to my head is as a, you can vision your three, no, your a three, three little girl or three little boy. And would you like to do that, that the same way, how you're treating yourself to the three years old boy or three years old girl? Do you know what I mean? Meaning so if you, you're forgiving them as, as a little born girl? Uh, actually, yeah, you need to forgive, but the treating, because we are treating ourselves so badly, so badly. But when you have that vision, you've got a three little boy or girl in front of you. Would you mm -hmm. like to treat them? So I'm talking about the inner yes. child more. Yes, I love yes. the inner child world. Oh, that's an amazing world you can do for yourself. It's, we're all little children you can't. in our hearts. Yeah. Because children are so pure. And now having my 11 months baby, it's crazy. Um, nice. I see how much. Yeah. And again, he feels 500 emotions a day. Right. And it, it doesn't matter. It, it's okay. And I that's it's so important to be a parent that is mindful that has been through some kind of healing journey with her in her child because god we don't want to pass more trauma to the next generation right this is just i think this is where right now when a trash board will we are moving to the next dimension and it's such a beautiful time to live in a witness and i everybody feels it even if you don't know this especially yes. now this as a yes. roller coaster <laughs> i know it's a roller coaster and if you feel anxiety and you feel uneasy this is this is it there is truly like a, a collective that is waking up that is Energy, asking yeah. yourself the hard questions and this is such an important time to really understand that we're all connected and we're all in this together and do the work it's always gonna it's not easy but it's definitely gonna be worth it yeah definitely yeah that's, that's why i said the inner child because i would like to connect as well the inner child with finding their own voice or finding the voice because yes. that's my perspective if you don't know your voice just look at the child the child is completely free and they're doing whatever they would like to do until somebody told of them don't do that don't cry just go there that's all the comments they can hear around it. But the pure child is probably your child because probably you, you're not strict your child every time saying, don't cry, no, no, 11 months, don't cry, don't go, don't step there, exactly. no. Right away, shushing, shushing, quiet, quiet, quiet. And we don't even look at it and think about it. But since we've been little girls and boys, especially if you've been... Uh, part of the system right going to kindergarten and first grade and second grade whatever you know right away you need to be quiet and your voice does not really matter what's matter is your grades and this is a sad situation and and the question is do you want to continue that or you want to choose something else and the options are always there and you create your own thing yeah. uh, but i always find that my clients there has always been a traumatic even if they don't identify as a traumatic experience in their childhood, that somebody told them that they're not good enough, that their voices doesn't matter. They've always been shushing their voice or somebody told them that their voice is like, like, no, don't sing, like, don't sing, please don't sing. Or something in that sort, right? Somebody, they, they um, valid their opinion, said something about them and they adapted this belief that they're not good singers or they're not worthy or their voice is not important. And this is where everything else connects, right? You cannot be a leader if you're not connected to your voice and you connected to your authentic self because a true leader 
is a person that is feeling that is in spite of all those things is moving forward. And if you are, let's say a CEO or you have a company of your own or you're an entrepreneur or whatever, this work of finding your voice on and mastering your emotions and all the things that Gabriella and I are talking about, this is going to make such a, it, it's just, everything is going to click in a, such a beautiful way because it's all connected as you can see. You can't yeah. separate you as a singer and you as a human being. You know, it's all connected. Yeah, that sounds, everything is possible. So nothing is impossible. But as the human form, I just want to, that avatar, when you, we are here now, we, the people need the evidence. If you don't have evidence, they're thinking that nothing is exists. They need to always the facts. Oh, that's evidence. Okay, I've got a proof. I've got a proof. I've got a proof. I've got a proof. So put away that proof and start trusting to yourself, not for others. You know Just only what? trusting for yourself. Yeah, and when you go into the uh, working on your self uh, and and like working on your limited beliefs, and you understand that everything is a, everything external is almost like a mirror of what it's it's a mirror of your internal being. True. It's literally yeah. a game. It's as silly as it sounds. You can create your own rules. Why not choose the rules and beliefs that empower you, that benefit you, right? And if people believed for thousands of years in God and there was no visual uh, proof, right? Not in our five senses, but you know in your heart that it's true, that is, there is God. Like there's definitely something out there. You, that's why I feel like we came to this world to really rediscover God and reconnect to God without having the five sense of proof. And that's why we need to find our belief in ourselves, even if we don't have the proof that we actually going to make it or we're going to have the relationship that we want. That trust, that belief in yourself is crucial, even without seeing it first, because you have to create the reality in you first. And the external reality will actually mirror that to you because it just takes sometimes time for the universe to catch up with your vibration and with your vision. And it's always finding yeah. the best way that it's also good for everybody involved, not just you. So it, sometimes it takes time and that waiting time until what do you want to manifest is uncomfortable because you're like, I'm doing the work. I'm doing the hypnosis. I'm doing the meditation, yeah. I'm doing the journaling. I'm going to Gabriella. I'm going to Natalia for, you know, help. And it's still not here. It's not, it's not here. It's just rearranging and it's working through in a way that it's going to be best for you and everybody involved. And it's going to come in the perfect timing. But your job is not sit there and wait and be in a waiting mode. It's yeah. your job is to live in spite of and know that it's already existed. It's already happened. And you're not living your life like wanting it so badly where everything, you, you, it's like you're feeling almost contracted and now living life and what it has to offer right now. And there's so many things to be grateful and enjoy while you're going towards where you want. Yeah, but the best way, the, the best way, the best thing is like a, we design everything. We design every small, tiny, tiny, tiny step, every situation. So we're supposed to be grateful for ourselves. We've done a pretty great job. We are so creative. Even we've forgotten we are creative as a soul level. So we've done everything. So where we are here now at the moment, I'm with Natalia. So we've created that podcast long time ago before we came here on the planet Earth. Absolutely. That's amazing. That's fantastic. We found it is amazing. And the realization of the manifestation is the most satisfying thing in the world. But the most satisfying thing to know that still, if you didn't have the, the proof, you already saw in your vision. And yeah. you and, and then when it's happening, it's like, of course it happened. <laughs> of That's course. true. That's it's true. like you just feel like it's it's already ha it's it's almost like not as exciting because you've already been um you've been already into that emotion. You're already experiencing it already. Yeah, you, you really know it. You never know it. And because you just mentioned five senses, but I would like to add the intuition like a six senses. Because when you don't have it, actually we've all got intuition but we've forgotten we suppressed a little bit not just only we but we've been suppressed anyway so use your intuition to find your own voice Absolutely. if you would like to be a singer just go and find it and mastering that emotions because also that's energy that's energy when you take it out and as natalia said we are healing each other 
You don't even know who are you healing. You never know. No, and and it's the, not your job. And it's not your job to heal the world. Your job is to heal yourself because you true. are the world. And when you're healing yourself by being in that frequency, you're already influencing everybody around you. And it's a ripple effect. And I just want to say true. that singers are the most powerful creators because singers, performers, actors, anybody on stage, we have a gift to channel our emotions into our, like express it in a way so you as an audience can feel it. That's true. Imagine like ma mastering your emotions and actually to what's beneficial for you, what you actually want. And, and you can create anything. It's just the problem is with a lot of people that I come across is they just don't know. They, they're not, they don't know they have that superpower and they just give it away. And they always want somebody else's validation. They want the claps. They want the likes. They want the, you know, the labels signing them. And if they're yeah. not signing them, something is wrong with them. Not knowing that maybe the universe saved you because he doesn't want you to be in this industry because he wants you yeah. to create something of your That's own. That's correct. That's well said. That's amazing. That's the yeah. best thing. I've been yes. kicked out a few days ago from, from some places. I was saying, Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you so much. You didn't stay there because the universe gave me different opportunity. I know where I am and I know where I'm going now. So Absolutely. definitely I was out of the trap for a little bit, but for the reason as well, because I just was planting the seeds in that place. Actually, that was a beautiful school with the people, but my energy, my frequency wasn't much with them. So they're saying to me, thank you. You don't belong here. Just go to a different place. So I said, okay, thank you. I'm going. Yeah, so we need to be much more flexible, and like you said, don't take your life seriously. Don't take your life seriously. Even just look at it as a redirection, 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 sure. and always trust. There's a bigger something better for you, but you have to. It's a, it's a daily working and and constantly talking to yourself and coaching yourself and get, guiding yourself towards what you need to think. Because if not, your mind is gonna round the show. And you don't want your mind to run the show. You want yeah. your heart, God, universe, whatever you want to call it, to lead the show. Okay? That's, That's where the power and the freedom lies. How you can find in your life, if you would like to answer it, just please answer it. How you can find in your life um, the way for the inspiration? Did you support any great maybe you admire anyone in your society, I don't know, in your world who helped you mastering maybe the emotions or maybe... My inspiration is all the people around me. As I said, not just, first of all, I don't look as Beyonce or, you know, Mariah Carey as my, you know, vocal inspirations and, you know, stuff like that. I used to. I literally used to listen to all the tracks and try to mimic their voice and try to go to the high notes. And it's just created that. And everybody's doing it. The way people learn songs, singers learn songs. It's by listening to the same singer, singing the same song 500 times until they remember it. And what happens? You adapt all their nuances, all their way of actually doing the song. And then you, it's almost impossible for you to actually find your take of that song and bring something completely different because you rewiring yourself to sing like somebody else. Mm. So the thing that is so important for singers that always say, listen to three different singers, get what you like, and then create your own, but really go into the story. What is behind that song? What is the story that you can tell that you experience, even if it's about a love, like lovers, and there's some something happened there. Maybe you want to talk about your dad. You talk, want to talk about your family member. It doesn't have to be exactly. You can find your meaning through that song and tell that story. That's a very powerful thing to do. And a lot of people just being actually too lazy <laughs> to do that process. They just want to sing right away with no problem. But you have to do the work in order to be free and you know and i know it's that daily discipline and not in a bad way discipline that doesn't mean to be bad way you're committed to feeling good committed to the practices as you say you have the toolbox 
the things you know that is going to make you connect your emotions to master your emotion, the things that help you to Definitely. go through life, you have to put them as e- equally important as your job, as your family, because without taking care of yourself, forget about everything else. It's just not going to happen. No, you need to look after yourself first and then the others will be benefit from that stuff. Definitely. Absolutely. Everything starts with you. Yeah. Shall we just only apply these three singers, the three, because you said that you need to listen three singers and take whatever you would like to take it and apply on your, on yourself or in your life. So shall we take also this um, metaphor, I would like to say, if you allow me, of course, say like that, uh, to our lives, like mastering the emotion, finding your own voice. One more time. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so quick. Okay. So shall we just only apply that taking the three different perspectives or setting, t- taking the three different um, opinion or just right. only different way how the people just only perceiving the world and just only taking whatever we need or whatever will be touched Again, uh, by our soul and apply it. Everything that comes to your life, if it's people, you know, there's no coincidence why they say something to you. There's a part of you because God is so genius, obviously, that sometimes we caught up in our, our in our heads that we can't even notice what we think sometimes because it's just like running in our heads. Yeah. But having somebody kind of voice it back to us, a mirror back to us, and and yeah. ask yourself, do I really connect it? Do I really want to adopt that feeling or that uh, um, statement? And if not, not, you know, nothing again it's not the person it's always everything is a mirror of you so if you have three different opinions it means okay i need to go deeper i need to really ask myself questions what i'm connecting to more what i'm choosing to believe is that belief serves me is that serves the humanity is that the ultimate truth all these questions that you can again by listening to what comes back to you ask yourself what do i connect to is this the ultimate truth and if it's not choose what you feel is the ultimate truth and what actually feels good because that's the only way to know if a statement or anything opinion comes to you if it's true or not if it feels good and if it's not it's not it, it's just bullshit <laughs> so yeah take it out it's all love it's all peace it's all good And if it's not any of those things, out. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm saying. So sometimes when the people just coming to me, another source and saying, how is that truth feel? Because they've been suppressed so much and they didn't know what is the truth. So like you said, feeling good. What is that feeling? If we don't have a feeling because we are so numb. But I'm saying- so true. (laughs) Oh my God, Gabriella, people are so numb. I know. It's so sad. It's so sad. It's almost like we are being trained to not feel, to not ah. be, to not live. And we're scared so much to live. I we're know. scared to really, you know, to to feel all those feelings, to go through life and not like, you know, always suppressing our feelings through drugs, through TV, through phone, through so many different things that just numb us. I know. That's and true. But by feeling the feelings, you actually, there's not better drugs. I don't know about you, but for me, there's no better drug than breathing, than singing, than dancing, than crying, than feeling. That's it. Uh, yeah, you're right. That's definitely because, of course, yesterday I was delivering, I was teaching my balance class and when I'm teaching the Qigong, Tai Chi and everything, I'm just only mixing. That's my own choreography. I don't want to love be, it. just follow anyone, but just only the people love it as well because I was in my vision. I was a vision in my retreat because I would like to open next year the retreat and so cool. for the people. And I just Where do you live, by the way? Uh, UK, England. Oh, wow. Which part? Uh, that's England. So this is the South. Okay. Yeah. But I'm originally from Poland, so... Oh, nice! That, that's crazy. No, my last name is Svirko. 
so my dad, I, I, everybody tells me it's a lot. It's a, I'm from Belarus, right? But it's very, yeah, there's a lot of Polacks and there's a lot of exchanger. So I'm sure I'm, I'm Polak somewhere in my heart. <laughs> I've created a goosebumps when you're talking like that. I think because that's a confirmation. But then when, when you're saying that about the emotions, that um, frequency, I just only felt it. I was in the high, high, high frequency yesterday, all day long. And I love it. And I love it. I was singing. I was jumping. I was dancing. I went to the shop. And the people staring at me as I'm crazy. I am crazy <laughs> anyway. But that emotion. So for the people who are listening, for the souls who are listening, if you feel like that, like you're falling in love and you're just only, oh my goodness, over the moon. That's, yeah. that's, the, that's the emotion you need to constantly rewind in your brain. Definitely. And just constantly doing and doing and doing. Yeah. And, and, and again, if you feel like it's also like we're not meant to be high vibe all the time because that's also not oh, good no. for our you know nervous system it's it's meant to, we're meant to have like the duck nature right there is episode there is winter there is um you know there's spring there's summer there's fall that's true. there is always waves and live it's all about riding that wave and not ma- make it mean anything good or bad that's true. We need to learn. We need to take the lesson because you couldn't take a lesson from the light all the time. But you need to, the light is like a joyfulness and happiness and that bliss and that stuff. But always you take the lesson from the dark. So when you come into the dark room, you can put the light on it and then you can bright that room straight Absolutely. away. But you've learned the lesson already. That's amazing. So Absolutely. we've got a mastering our emotions. You said a lot of stuff around the mastering emotions. So we know the stuff. But if you would like to tell, and in the three words or maybe three points uh, for the people who are listening, the souls who are listening around the mastering the emotions and around the having and finding that that voice inside them or the voice, the vocal voice. Maybe they're searching, but they really afraid to go or something like that. They, that's all the patterns they believe. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, absolutely. So number one, closing your hearts, even do it with me, Gabriella. Let's okay, fine. Put your hands on your heart and just scan your body from top to bottom. And if you feel there's a energy field that doesn't feel good, it feels icky. I want you to really put your hands where that feeling is. Could be in your throat, could be in your chest, could be in your tummy. And I want you to use your voice to voice that feeling to really connect to that feeling to that energy field and just connect to it and let the voice voice it out breathing in and just surrender and voice it out Um, it's okay Breathing in one more time. Allow yourself to even surrender even more. Don't judge yourself. Just allow yourself to go into that feeling and allow your voice to let that feeling be expressed. One more time. Breathing in. Uh, Put your hands back on your lap and just scan your body from top to bottom and see if it's still there and it could be still there and that's okay. So you just need to continue doing that. And when you're ready, I want you to be grateful for three things right now. Feel it in your heart. It could be small or as big. I know that I'm grateful for you, Gabriella, for this opportunity. For those who are listening, for our guides, our angels, the universe and God, for always supporting us, guiding us, and loving us unconditionally, feeling that feeling. And I want you now to voice that feeling out. So breathe into that feeling and see what voice comes out. Ah. Breathing in and open your eyes. It was amazing. As simple as that. 
Amazing. Thank you. I'm so grateful for you to come in here and just only give Thank that you. opportunity us to experience. Thank you, my love. Thank you. I it's feel my eyes. It's a wider. Yes, I can see how, but you see, I can just by seeing you, your energy completely shifted. And that's how fast it could be by just feeling, voicing, yeah, and just feeling going and voicing. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's amazing. I love the sounds healing, but maybe we can just record it in the next podcast around the healing because that's all the chakras got a different vibration. And that's, oh, that's, that's amazing. It, we can talk for hours. So if you guys are listening and you have any additional questions, specific questions, let us know. And if there are going to be enough questions, we'll definitely come back and answer those and talk more about the chakras and the. It's amazing. Know. I yes. love them. I okay. love the healing, the sounds. That's amazing healing you can do. That's always with you. So you don't have to carry on. You don't have to put additional weight on yourself because you've got it inside you. So that's it. You know that my student came to me. She's a mom of two. Her student, her kids came to me to learn um, to sing, right? And she's like, you know what? Can I come for voice lessons? I'm sort of sure. Long story short, now four years in doing the work with me, she's a voice healer. She had nothing to do with singing. She never went into like that. And but she had this like constant, I want to sing, I need to sing, I need to sing. She didn't understand why. And by doing the work together, now she's doing retreats in Costa Rica. She's in Israel. Oh, she's in the United States. She's all over and she's doing such amazing things. So if you have that intuition and something in your heart that just you know it can't explain why you need to sing, go and pursue it don't don't question it just go for it you never know where it's going to lead you that, that's true that's definitely if you're thinking you don't have a voice to singing and somebody hearing you it's always it's, you're going to find another soul listening to you it's always always somebody somewhere always somewhere the soulmate anyway even yes. the cat even the cat even the dog that's another soul but anyway that's another conversation for another topic <laughs> I'm just only opening like a kind of box and just only opening and more and more unwrapping that gift. I'm just on one paper, another paper, another, 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 another. Exactly. That's amazing. Um, would you like to say something to the audience today who are listening? Like any messages and nowadays how they can find themselves if they don't know how to. I'm just only giving you that. How to find yourself. Again, don't find yourself. I think it's about concentrate what makes you feel good and choosing to feel good every single day and doing the things that make you feel good and put it as a priority. Really connect to your inner child and what your inner child wants to do. Even if it's dancing and singing and it's even if it's silly and it's not practical and it looks funny and all these things you're telling yourself. Trust that you need that. Your soul needs that. And no, we're not here to pay bills and just complete tax, tasks all the time. We're here yeah. to enjoy. We're here to have fun. We're here to grow. We're here to expand. We're here to love, to receive love. And don't take that gift away from yourself. That's, That's amazing. What do people can find you if they would like to that healing session from you? Absolutely. So I, you can find me on my Instagram where I'm mostly active, uh, which is Natalia coaching dot online. And also I have my own podcast. It's called tuned in. Mm. So you can listen Thank to you. that as well, where I go deeper into finding your voice and practical tools of what to do when you lose your voice and bringing other guests as well to um, really help you in that journey. And also my website, which is Natalia music dot online okay. simple as that natalia music that online where you can find ways to work with me i do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching i offer i have courses that i'm uh, periodically uh, launching and also uh, hypnotherapy sessions so all this feel free to dm me call me text me i'm very uh very open to conversations and helping those who need me uh, and if you feel called to it'll be my pleasure to uh, take you further that's amazing. Thank you for the sharing. And definitely I'm going to attach about uh, the, all the links if you're going to send me back. Yes. Of course, I so I'm going to, yeah, so I'm going to attach and the people that go straight away and follow you and just probably they will be contacted with you as well. Okay. The last last piece, last piece, I'm always asking uh, yes. my guests. 
any quotes, any life quotes, which helped you the difficult challenges or just any empowering you, inspiring you? Any quotes? Or maybe, I don't know, the vision. I think I one of the mantras that I love is be and it will be. Meaning you are, whatever you want to see in your life, you have to be it. So be and it will be. That's it. Simple as that. Good. That's amazing. Never heard that one. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing that much. Thank you, Gabriella. Amazing. Oh. Thank you so much for coming here. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. And yeah, if you would Thank like you. to, if any one of you would like to have another podcast about the healing with the sounds, that's amazing. We can go and create. Okay? Absolutely. We are here. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.